Good morning, my friends and audience. My name is Edward Washroom, the tutor in Edward's Academy. As a follow up to my previous video on structural break, this morning I am going to teach how to estimate uh, the Zyvold Andrew uh, unit two test with structural breaks. So, this test will enable researchers to perform empirical estimation considering the structural breaks that occur within the period of their studies. Please stay tuned to my channel as I proceed. Officially, I want to apologize for not being able to come online for some time due to my busy schedule in other offline academic work. So, this morning we will Estimate the Vot Andrew text. The Vot Andrew text is a text that enables researchers to present or to identify the point that the break took place. So to have that done, the Vot Andrew text is not uh, in a default mode in the EVU. Rather, to have it done, researchers are expected to download or to introduce them in the EVUs in the form of an addings. So if you, have, you want to have that done, the first thing to be done is to go to add-in. If you go to add-in, you download Zevot Andrew text. And to have that done, you move on to this area. You go to the last, the last, the last button, you have the Zua root. The Zua root is Zevot Andrew text. If you click or hit on this icon, you will have it installed. But in my own case, it's already installed. So. I may not be able to hit on it again because I have it. So once you're able to install the Zebot Andrew text in your in your e-view, so the next thing to do is to double click your your variable or the variable you want to uh, to check the presence of units of uh, structural breaks. But mainly structural breaks are being uh, checked on the dependent variable. Mainly in your study, you should be conscious of the fact that. The main variable of interest or interest or the main variable that you want to normalize which is the dependent variable should be only the variable that you'll be interested in checking the presence of structural break in most most empirical uh, studies so to have that done having exposed or uh, visualize my arrow gdp series this series is the log value of the arrow gdp i decided to log it because it's a real value so the next thing to do is to hit the add in uh, icon i will now maneuver to zybot andrew so this is where the manipulation is done we have three determin deterministics here we have the intersect uh, the trend and the boot i assume that the arrow gdp series i'm working with has an intercept i leave it at intercept and i'll hit ok and uh, this is the result once i hit ok i'll be exposed to a result that appears like this this is how my result will appear this is how my results will appear so these results i may decide to copy this result neatly to a microsoft world where i will offer a meaningful interpretation to it and uh, this is my mac this is my microsoft my microsoft i'm copying this result now I'm copying this result to to a microsoft world no copying no copying rather okay so this is the result this is with android you need to text dated this day the sample size remain 81 to 2020 and the normal hypothesis is that the log value of our gdp has a unit to test with a structural break and intercept and uh, the choosing lag length is three and a maximum of four so the break occurred in 2010 you can look at it here look at the graph at this point a structural break hits the nigeria economy because if you look at this particular dot the the curve or the point of departure between this period and this period is too sharp so that means that within 2010 a structural break occurred in nigeria and if you just oppose this with the current reality in this country from the period we are looking at you can also deduce the fact that the world financial depression may have hit nigeria economy drastically 
from 2010, if I'm not mistaken. So 2010 may be a period when the depression hit the nation's economy more uh, severely. So the break that occurred in this country can actually be looked at from this angle. So this is how we identify this, the presence of structural break uh, using the Zivot Andrew unit to text. And you can look at it again. The Zivot Andrew statistics is 1.1. And uh, the critical value is uh, four negative four point nine. And uh, if you go further, you observe that the p value is above uh, the threshold level, which implies that there's a unit to problem with this estimation. So you can actually go further, move to first difference, and see how you can be able to attain uh, uh, stationarity. To have that done, you move on. You hit the first difference button, and this is the first difference button. Of the unit root text this is the very different button of the unit root text so actually that is how we identify the vote andrew structural break test using the eview platform thank you for staying to to be this very short video researchers can actually pull this information to your paper present them neatly in the table and offer meaningful interpretation thank you and god bless you